friends, I'm so glad you're all here today. We are learning about what it means to be transformed. Transformed is a really big word that means to take something and to change it and make it different. Did you know that when a frog is a baby, it's called a tadpole? And it doesn't look like a frog at all. It actually looks more like a baby fish. But as it grows bigger, it transforms and changes to look like a frog. Can everyone tell me what sound a frog makes? Great job. Just like a tadpole changes into a frog, we are going to learn about how God can change us. But first, let's all stand up and sing together. job. Everyone can take a seat. Today we're going to play a little game. I'm going to tell you to close your eyes and when I do I'm going to change something about what I'm wearing. Then I'm going to tell you to open your eyes and when I do you're going to guess what I've changed. Are you ready? Okay, close your eyes. Okay, you can open your eyes. Now can you tell what's different? That's right, I put on a hat. Let's do that one more time. Close your eyes. Okay, you can open your eyes. Can you tell me what's different this time? That's right, I put on a silly nose. Sometimes we can change things on the outside, like how I put on a hat and a nose. But in our story today, we are going to learn about a man named Saul who changed on the inside. Are you ready to hear our story? Say this after me. I open my Bible and what do I see? God's big story waiting for me. Hey everyone, it's me, Larry, your camp counselor. Oh, I'm so hungry, I can't wait for my popcorn to be done. But before I can eat it, it has to change from hard orange kernels to fluffy deliciousness. You know, change can be a good thing, sometimes. Oh, like when Devin changed his socks after he went hiking all day. Yeah. They stank a little bit. Phew. Lots of awesome changes happen in nature too. Like how tadpoles change into frogs. Or how caterpillars change into butterflies. Sounds like my popcorn has started to pop. You know, the Bible has one of my favorite true stories about change. After Jesus died on the cross, rose from the dead, and went to heaven, his followers were still on earth. God sent them the Holy Spirit as their helper. The Holy Spirit is the presence of God. 
These followers of Jesus were the very first Christians, and they shared how amazing Jesus is. But they had enemies who tried to keep them from sharing about Jesus. Kind of like when Evan hid my megaphone, and I couldn't tell everyone that craft time was over. Craft time is over! No more crafts! Put down your jewelry! We were off schedule that day. Oh, anyway, only these enemies, they did a lot worse stuff than hide megaphones. In fact, one of the worst enemies was a man named Saul. He threw Jesus' followers in jail. Some were even killed. He was devoted to God, but he didn't believe Jesus was God's son. Sounds like this guy was due for a change, huh? Yep, Jesus thought so too. One day, Saul was going to a city called Damascus to capture more Christians, but on the road, he was blinded by a bright light that shined from heaven. So he fell to the ground and a voice said, Saul, Saul, why are you opposing me? It was Jesus speaking to him from heaven. Then Jesus told Saul to go to Damascus and wait to be told what to do next. Saul realized he had been wrong to hurt Jesus' followers. This was the beginning of a very big change. There were people with Saul who didn't see the light, but they heard the voice, and they had to lead Saul to Damascus because the bright light had made him blind. Saul did what he was told, and for three days, he didn't eat or drink anything. Instead, he prayed. One of Jesus' followers in Damascus was a man named Ananias. Jesus appeared to Ananias in a vision about Saul. Oh, a vision is a special picture from God. In the vision, Jesus told Ananias to go to Saul and lay his hands on him to heal his eyes. Jesus told Ananias that he was transforming Saul into a missionary. He was letting the Holy Spirit change him completely. Saul's mission would be hard, but the Holy Spirit was gonna help him tell people from all over about Jesus. Ananias did what Jesus told him to do. When he found Saul, he told him that Saul was gonna be filled with the Holy Spirit. And then Ananias put his hands on Saul and prayed and he could see again. Saul changed all right. He was baptized and became one of Jesus' followers himself. He told everyone that Jesus is the son of God. After that, Saul was sometimes called Paul and he went on to write a lot of letters that we can still read in the Bible. Because of his message, many people chose to follow Jesus. <laughs> I love this true story because it shows how powerful the Holy Spirit is. The Holy Spirit changed Saul, who hated Christians, into Paul, who became a Christian himself. The Holy Spirit is just as powerful today, and anyone can be changed like Saul because nothing can stand in God's way. I am so thankful the Holy Spirit changes us. <gasps> <laughs> Popcorn done, and not a second too soon. Mmm, delicious. Oh, I should have let it cool first. <laughs> oh, see you later, everyone. Oh, it's so hot. Where's my canteen? That was a really good story. At the beginning, Saul was not a nice person and he hurt people and treated them really badly. But then, Jesus helped Saul to change. Saul decided to follow Jesus and Jesus helped to change his heart and make him kind to others. He even gave him a new name. Instead of him being called Saul, his new name became Paul. And Paul traveled to all kinds of places, telling lots of people about Jesus. Wow! God changed Paul from someone who was really mean to who he was, a really nice person who showed love to Jesus to everyone. Just like God changed Paul, he can change us too. He can help us to be really nice to kids and he can help us to show love to our friends and family. Let's all stand up to say some really special words and then sing. Thank you, God, that you made me. Thank you, God, that you made me. And I am your kid. And I am your kid. Jesus loves me so much. Jesus loves me so much. His love for me is big. 
His love for me is big. The Holy Spirit leads me. The Holy Spirit leads me. And I can follow you. And I can follow you. My life can tell your story. My life can tell your story. I'm a wonder, this is true. I'm a wonder, this is true. today. I want you to remember that God loves you and cares for you and he can help you to be more like him. Let's pray and ask God to help us this week. Ready? Clap, clap, clap. Put your hands on your lap. Now close your eyes and let's pray. God, thank you for loving us. Help to change us to be more like you. Help us to show your love to our friends and our family. Help us to be really nice kids. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I'll see you next time.